Because of our YouTube channel, my online research lands me in some pretty strange places on the internet. From the shake weight to prancer sizing to eating tapeworms to help you lose weight, I always think I've seen it all until I stumble upon something else. <laughs> Strangely enough, some of these things end up having some credibility to them. That's why today I'm going to cover the 11 strange but true health tips that all have scientific evidence. I'd also be happy to cover these topics in more depth, so if you'd like to learn more about any of these tips, let me know in the comments section. Tip number one, chew 30 times before swallowing your food. When you chew, your body releases digestive enzymes helping break down the food for better absorption. And the truth is, most people greatly under-chew their food. Proven benefits we see in scientific research are feeling fuller from your meals, absorbing more nutrients, better digestion and gut health, and improved teeth health. Tip number two, if possible, get a better poop angle. Most modern day toilets fail to simulate how our bodies were designed to remove excrement. We normally sit at a 90 degree angle on the toilet while we were more designed for a 35 degree angle or lower. A poor anorectal angle, <laughs> kinks up your sphincter sort of like a garden hose and our bodies were designed to poop in the plains and not in the burbs. So if you do have poop problems or want a better poop, definitely consider getting a stool like the Squatty Potty to fix this. Tip number three, the inflammation cure. If you suffer from any of the inflammation related problems such as skin issues, periodontal disease, autoimmune diseases, or allergies, you'll know there's lots of hype and internet lists around specific foods and diets that fight inflammation. However, there's one trick that works better no matter matter what you're eating, and that's calorie restriction. We see in multiple studies that basic calorie control greatly reduces all markers of inflammation in the body. It's not sexy, but the solution for most of you suffering with these diseases is going to be restricting calories and probably not eating some rare berry or doing some strange diet. Tip number four, work out in the morning for better sleep. A recent study done by Appalachian State University had participants exercise at 7 a.m., 1 p.m., or 7 p.m. three days per week. They found that those working out at 7 a.m. had consistently better sleep and blood pressure. So try working out in the a.m. if you're struggling to get those precious Z's. Tip number five, eating veggies makes you sexier. The University of St. Andrews found that when consuming yellow-red pigments found in veggies, subjects became more attractive to the opposite sex. When placed in side-by-side -side comparisons, people were universally rated more attractive the more cartonoids that they ate and even more attractive than those with fake tans. Tip number six, sugar is more addictive than cocaine. In fact, when given the option between cocaine, heroin, and sugar, rats choose sugar 94% of the time. Make sure to check out our video on sugar addiction if it's something you struggle with. Tip number seven, posture affects our hormones. Amy Cuddy did a popular TED talk I'm sure many of you have seen. Striking a pose like sitting back in a chair with your hands behind your head or placing your hands on your hips while standing has a positive effect on your hormones. High power poses like these led to a 20% increase in testosterone, and a 25% decrease in cortisol in her study. Make sure to give her video a watch. Tip number eight, use the first stall. After analyzing 51 public restrooms, experts found that the stall closest to the restroom door consistently had the lowest bacteria levels and the most toilet paper. I guess since it's right by the door, people are a little more nervy about using it. Tip number nine, meditation works. It increases the immune system, positive emotions, gray matter in your brain, your memory, and emotional intelligence. It decreases in inflammation, depression, anxiety, and stress, and is one of the best things that you can do for your overall brain health. Try an app like Calm or Headspace to get started. Tip number 10, breathe through your nose. Close to 80% of the population breathes incorrectly. The term mouth breather is funny, but there are actually scientific documented benefits to breathing through your nose, including increasing your circulation, blood flow, and improving the size of your lungs. While breathing out of your mouth has a lot of proven negatives, such as raising your blood pressure, worsening your allergies, and depriving the heart, brain, and other organs of precious oxygen. So close your mouth when you breathe. Tip number 11, spend your money on experiences and not possessions. Experiences have significantly longer effects on total happiness than possessions. Traveling experiences specifically have been shown to lower the risk of depression, raise your overall happiness, help create a strong immune system, and improve your brain health. If you do want to get inspired for your next vacation, make sure to check out this video. It's from our close, close friends at Wander who just started their own channel.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you have any suggestions for the next video, we'd love to see it in the comments section. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber we get, a group of baby marmots are born. So please subscribe to The Health Nerd for healthy tips and tricks, backed by science. If weight loss is something you're interested in, you can also check out our online e-course, The Science of Fast Weight Loss. You can see the results from some of our past clients on that page and people we have worked with personally. Links will be in the description and on this screen. Cheers.